Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Thursday here in Australia, a little bit sort of after lunchtime, mid afternoon, and the market is up ever so slightly, up to two point one four trillion, so up two point nine percent, which is nice, and Bitcoin looking very nice. But we're going to have a look at something important uh, on the charts not too shortly. But we'll just have a look at the markets to start with, as always. Okay, dominance dropped ever so slightly, really just kind of hovering 39% thereabouts. A little bit above, a little bit below, sometimes 40 and above, sometimes uh, down in the kind of lower 38s. All right, there is a little bit of volume, which is nice. So uh, definitely some money coming into the markets. Bitcoin price again, $43,500 now. So that's very nice. And gas price, uh, you know, $10. Not cheap. But, you know, not the most expensive it's been either. But, you know, still, that's a basic transaction is what you need to remember. It's not, you know, any kind of real smart contract stuff. It's going to be a lot higher there. All right, top 100. What's done well considering the market's up nearly 3%? We can see it looks like a sea of green at the moment. Terra had a nice bounce there. All right. Uh, got no idea what that is, but uh, it's in the top 100 now. Bitcub coin, <laughs> that just sounds dodgy already. Shiba Inu's had a nice pump there. One Harmony, Terra Luna, so double digits. Olympus, Convex Finance, and then we got a number of high single digit movers as well. And even Cardano, there we go. So we can see holding uh, nice at $1.30. It was down a little bit lower, and look, it could definitely still go lower, uh, as all things can. Just remember that. We're not out of the woods just yet. It's, it's been this kind of repeat that, you know, every couple of days when the market turns green, everyone's like the bottom was in and gets really excited. And then a day or two later, well, we start to go a little bit lower and eventually we keep setting in new lows. And that hasn't changed just yet. We're going to get to that very shortly. What hasn't done well in the top 100 though? So the flip side, right? Mina protocols down. Chainlink continues to go down ever so slightly, not too much. It had a really good pump. I think it was down at like... $12 or something crazy, $18, $12, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was low and then it just made a good move and see, even it's having a retracement because the market is still unsure. Aave trading around 215 Uniswap down at $15. Look, but the losses are fairly minimal. Now let's get to the Bitcoin chart. Right, so as we can see, here's this downwards trending uh, sort of wedge pattern and like I said in a bull market they are actually bullish you've just got to wait for them to break and what can we see here ladies and gentlemen it looked like it has broke it's come out and it's just sitting on it at the moment so now again you can move these lines ever so slightly some people will say oh no now you've got to move this up a little bit because this is you know really where it was you could go like that but for me I'm just following where it's kind of got the most touches so at the moment we're sitting sort of just on it so we haven't broke it and like I said what's going to be bullish is if we have what I thought might happen out here we break out come back down retest it and then push off so at the moment we're just really sitting in no man's land at the moment it hasn't gone bullish it hasn't gone bearish it's still like three o'clock in the morning stateside time so we've got a few hours to kind of see what this is going to do but if this kind of drops down, then again, I think we're going to come back down and retest at the very least this kind of 40000 ish dollar level. If not, maybe even come down further. And like I said, we've had this for a while. Like I said, you know, the CME gap down there, I've spoken about it before. I'm not saying that this has to wait until 12th of February to happen. It could literally happen in the next few sort of hours, the next day or two, something like that. But this is just what I'm looking for. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I never offer you financial advice. It's just something I'm keeping an eye on. And at the moment, we just keep setting in lower lows, ladies and gentlemen, and lower highs. So until that changes, my narrative hasn't changed. I'm not going too crazy at the moment. And uh, you know where I am. I'm mostly sitting on sort of, you know, I'm holding my cash, the DCA that I normally put in. I'm really just sitting on that at the moment, other than, like I said, a little bit of Bitcoin uh, and a little bit of Ethereum. And if an altcoin that I like gets down to a price, I might throw a few dollars at it. And it really is just a few dollars. So there you go. You know where I'm at. And if you watch my videos every day, then you'll know that. And I'm, I don't mean to bore you and repeat that, but I don't know if new people are coming and watching my channel. But number one, if you are new to my channel, thank you very much. I do appreciate you coming to watch my channel. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm never offering you financial advice. I'm just telling you what I see based on number one, the well, not number one, the charts, but the charts is obviously something that I look at a lot. But TA 
technical analysis, it's good until it's not. And I've said that before and people who've watched my channel before will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not that it doesn't work, but it might be right sort of 50-ish percent of the time. Like this downwards trending wedge is just telling me where the price is going. It's not that it's going to get there. It's just going in this direction at the moment. It can break out and that was the false breakout and then it just continued. But until I see higher lows and higher highs, we're still in a downwards trending channel. So for me, not buying too much at the moment. All right, let's move on. The total market cap. Like I said, I'm waiting to see if this is going to break out of this and maybe bounce off this uh, downwards trending line as well. But what we can see is it's already kind of been rejected a little bit. So it got up there and then uh, it's already rejected a little bit. But again, it's very, very early. This still could be bullish, but what I'd be expecting is the total market cap to probably come up to this downwards trending line here. And again, it's just thereabouts. You can move it up a little bit, down a little bit. But this is where it's got the most kind of touch points. And then to, it will, my guess is if we're going down further, it probably gets rejected there. If it makes it up to here, it might just simply fall down from here. But for me, I'm waiting to see the same thing. I want us to break through this downwards trending line here, come back and retest it as support, and then push off. That's when I start to get bullish. Until I see something like that, then I'm not exactly bullish. And again, let's go and have a look at the SPX. We're still, you know, we haven't broken to new highs. Now we got oh so close here and we've got an indecision candle at the moment. So there's another indecision candle. It's just hard to pick where the, where the market is going. But look, there was a little bit of bullish sentiment there. So again, we started to push up and now we got an indecision candle and we're waiting to sort of see what happens. And look, you get indecision candles all over the place. They don't necessarily mean anything in particular that, oh, well, we have to be going higher or we have to be going lower. Indecision, we went higher. Two sort of indecisions, we went much lower. Uh, indecision sort of candle there and then it went much higher. Indecision candle there and we went much higher. So there's no, it doesn't really tell you which way the market's going just that at that time the market is unsure it's not giving a clear indication of where it wants to go all right dow jones again we had a little bit of a push up and now it's already pulled back a little bit and same kind of thing we got a bit of an indecision candle here it's still early it hasn't you know finished and formed but all of this again just tells me that the market is still yeah it hasn't made its mind up exactly which way it's going to go so again you know why i am just proceeding with caution at the moment. Uh, you know, it's not that I'm not buying anything. I just feel like sitting on some cash, not cash everything in and think that you're going to buy lower. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying what I DCA with and, you know, I have taken profits over the time. I'm sitting on that at the moment. I'm not doing anything major with it because if I'm going to do anything major with it, really, I'd be looking for Bitcoin to you know, come somewhere down around this $37,000 level. If Bitcoin comes down here, I'll make a bit more of a play at it. And then my next level would be down here around kind of $32,500, really just above thirty four, uh, sorry, $33,500 is where that is. But really, I'd have it just above the $34,500 level. So these are the kind of gaps where you can see confluence. So me, I'd have a buy order in just about there. And I had a buy order in, uh, where was it, 42000 here it was, around $42,500, got triggered. That was nice. And so now I've got another buy order in, and I think it's something, yeah, thirty-seven and a half ish thousand dollars thereabouts, just above this range, because it might just kind of wick down and then bounce up. And if this doesn't get filled, so be it. It's not the end of the world. It means crypto is going up, and that's great. But I'm not throwing too much money at anything in the moment in case this is all just more steps and we go much further down. Something like this. So ladies and gentlemen, you know where I'm at. I'd love to know where you're at. Please put down in the comments, are you bullish or bearish? And what if you're bearish, how much lower do you think Bitcoin is going to go? So bearish and, you know, 32500 uh, bearish, you know, 38500 or something like that. I'd just love to know your thoughts about where you think the market is going, you know, just in the next kind of maybe six to eight weeks, next sort of month or two. 
Well, look, it doesn't even have to be that. Just in the kind of near future, if you think we're going down a little bit lower before we go up, or do you think the bottom was in, that that kind of $39,000 candle there was the capitulation? All right, last thing I want to look at, though, is the fear and greed index. Index, Sorry, excuse me. We're still pretty low, so we're at 21. That's extreme fear. Generally, that's a good place to start buying. It's not buy everything because we know this has been lower. This was at 10 only a few days ago. So it's still low and it's something to consider because we go down here and we look when it was at 10. This is as long as this has been running. So this is on the max right now. When it gets down to these levels and it's not to say it can't go lower, they're traditionally really good times to buy. But it doesn't mean it can't go lower. It just means it's pretty close to its bottom again i mean have a look what is that that got down to five so 10 which we we're at the other day and it's already risen up a little bit from there 21 now we've been down to five before we've been down to what's that one there uh no, a little bit lower well that's under 10 again we got ones there we go nines and things like that down here so you need to remember these are good times to consider buying some i.e dollar cost average into some stuff but you know you've still got to make your own decisions ladies and gentlemen and for me buying tiny amounts of bitcoin and ethereum and again the altcoins that i like if i see them down at a price that looks interesting i will put a few dollars in but it really is just a few dollars i'm saving the bulk of my cash for if there's really big corrections i.e we start seeing a thirty thousand dollar bitcoin that's when I'll be putting a lot more money into Bitcoin. And maybe I'll buy a little bit of altcoins there, but it will only be a little bit until I see the change. The trend is your friend. And this is the trend at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. It is going down. Until that changes, I just don't see any reason to try and bet against the trend. If the trend changes, different story. Then I'll start to follow it. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. We've had a little bit of a game for a couple of days there, but will it hold? That really is the question. I'll see you later.